Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out and reviewing Tarte Pastels from Jackson's Art Supplies. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. So let's get started. So my first impression of Jackson's Art Supplies is that it's a really high quality brand. As you can see, the site is very clear, very easy to understand. They also have a number so that you can call and they can provide you with customer service. Jackson's Art, they provide a lot of supplies like paints, ink, papers, um, even easels and photography things and every tool imaginable really. And it was just so inspiring and the site was just really aesthetically pleasing. They also have really affordable options and then really high quality options. For example, easels for £8 or color pencils for only £12, which I think is a very good deal if you're looking for a high quality uh, product. They also have stores in London. You can mainly order their uh, supplies on jacksonsart.com and they have worldwide delivery. So I got from there the 72 Creta color hard pastels and this is my first time using pastels so I just wanted to test that site using something that I don't know how to use so if I can use it then so can you so on the site let's see what it claims it claims that it's hard pastel feature both in 72 luminous shade use on edge for broad sweeping strokes or on the corners for fine details highly pigmented water soluble oil free flawless blending and luxurious colors so so when I first received the item, um, I'm not gonna lie, I just wanted to smell it. <laughs> They looked like candies to me, honestly. The colors, they were just so pigmented and I just really liked them for some reason. And they were so neatly organized. Like if you have OCD like me and you see this set, you're gonna just love it. So each color is more than two inches, I'd say, long. So you'd get a lot of products for your money. They feel hard on the hand, but not too hard that it's not comfortable. They're square shaped. The dark blue one did leave some powder on my hand. So basically, I've been just testing out their blendings. Try to blend this color with a white color to see how well it blends and it blends really easy to be honest. The only thing that I noticed that because they are hard pastels you have a lot of grain or let's say powder left from the chalk but when I was doing the rendering I didn't see that or it didn't feel like a problem to me so I'm thinking that was only because I was trying to get it in that rectangle and it was a big rectangle Um, so usually when you get that powder you can scrape that off or you would blend it even more with your hands. Um, I suggest when you're blending to use a q-tip or some paper towel or some tissues because if you're blending different colors like blue, orange and yellow and green it can get a bit messy and the colors don't seem as bright or fresh. And then I've tried blending out different colors like blue, brown, orange, and pink and white all together and they blend really easily as well. And I would suggest that you use hard or rough paper. Um, and this one was the roughest one I had on hand and it wasn't even that rough. It was a bit kind of medium texture. So if you had a rougher sketchbook or rougher paper then I don't think you'd have a problem with that powder. The next thing that I also tried was their sketching techniques or how strokes are applied in them and it was really easy even though that they are square shaped they feel really comfortable on the hand and they don't break off really easy as I saw in oil pastels you can of course cut a piece or break it just so it feels more comfortable on the hand but I chose not to because I know myself and I lose all of those pieces so I think right now I have have a bit of experience using the pastel colors so I'm gonna go on to my render so I've chosen my color palette and for this render I wanted to really use the chalkiness or the powder to my advantage or sort of the theme of this render so I wanted something really abstract something really colorful and just using a lot of pastel colors like beige and um, pastel pinks and blues and greens so I just sketched out some uh, Roman buildings and a boat and the water and from there you just blend some colors and it was just really easy to blend and I chose my light source to be on the right so anything on the right was a bit more highlighted and then the things on the left were a bit more darker.
and you basically just blend colors on top of each other just so that it looks a bit more interesting and and i just went back and forth in that method so that one area doesn't look plain or boring it just had a lot of layers and textures and that's one thing about pastels that you need to do is lay different colors and layers on top of each other to get the effect that you want and as i said i didn't use black in, in this render all i used was brown and i think i may have used black i'm not sure but i used pencil 6b i think or 4b just to make things darker because 6b or 4b um it had a soft texture so it kind of mixed in well As you can see, it's very easy to fix things in pastels if you are using light pressure. If you don't like a color, you can just lay a color right on top of it. Make sure that when you're coloring, you start from one side to another because if you're working all over the place, and that's what's gonna happen to your piece or your render because these are very chalky, so it's easy for it to get smudged. So I would suggest you have a paper towel next to you or that you work from left to right or right to left. And I've done the boats in brown and then I've added the pencils to make it more defined and then in the end what I did was I used the chalkiness of the pastel using two fingers I did with a sweep in motion created something sort of like dust thing or fog to suggest that these buildings are being destructed or in ruins and that was the final piece I hope you guys really enjoyed it I really enjoyed using pastels and like I said to be honest this was very easy project and you don't have to get the 72 colors you can get they have other sets so you can get a smaller set if you thought that one was expensive but i really love pastels and you could even just use them for sketching and sweeping off some broad areas on your painting before using pencil colors or markers or anything else it just speeds up your process so if you guys really enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and share it to your friends i'm rush and i'll see you next time